Hello ladies and gentle friends, it's Danny from Wave 6 and today we are covering the first of two Bombermans that came out on the Sega Saturn. This is the original one called Saturn Bomberman. What you're seeing here is the intro sequence to the story mode, um, which can be played either one player or two players you're about to see in a minute. Anyway, more about this cartoon though. Um, anime sequences like this, as I've mentioned before, probably my Guardian Heroes review, very, very commonplace on the Sega Saturn. Instead of, you know, trying to do 3D rendered graphics that look really crappy and out of date five years' time, what they did was made some really, really nice animated cartoons for their intro sequences. This still stands the test of time. In fact, this would, wouldn't be out of place on Cartoon Network or Nickelodeon, you know. So, yeah, like, you know, watching this is actually a bit of a joy for me, actually. In case you haven't been paying attention to the uh, the screen, um, there's this guy called Mr. Meanie. Yes, it's a shit name, I know. Goes up to the legendary Crystal Tower and unleashes a monster called Crater. And basically, it's your job. Notice that they brought Black Bomberman along for the ride this time to go out and stop that mofo. Anyway, um, I think that's enough of the cutscenes now. I think I should actually show you some gameplay footage. Right then, this is story mode in action. As you can tell, it's a bright and colourful affair with lots of interesting enemies in... They've made the... Battlegrounds a lot more interesting too. Um, the one thing I do like about this is you can also play this two-player co-op as you're seeing now, and they've also got some new dino monsters which you could ride. Yeah, okay, they're a bit similar to the kangaroos from the Mega Drive game, but eh, who's complaining? The game controls and plays like any normal Bomberman game, so to speak. Um, Essentially, the objective is to destroy those crystal towers that are flashing. The enemies give you bonus points, so it's worth killing them, and destroying your blocks gives you power ups as any normal Bomberman game does, so it's really worth killing as much stuff as possible, so to speak. The presentation on this game is fantastic, but my only real criticism about the presentation and graphics is that. Sometimes you get stuff overhanging, you see that blue cable there? That will screw over your Bomberman and your bombs, so, you know, that can be a bit of a blower. But, other than that, you know, I'm not really that fussed. I mean, the graphics and sound, like, are amazing. Like, they're Hudson at the top of their game. Um, so, yeah. Uh, this is definitely, in my opinion, probably the best Bomberman ever made. I know that's a very difficult call to make because there have been a lot of great Bomberman games and also a lot of shit Bomberman games. <coughs> oh, sorry, that was a bit of a nasty cough there. I was going to show you the pirate boat level but I decided to stick with this level because it shows some of the really interesting enemies. Um, the enemies on this game are really well done especially uh, the bosses and stuff. I'll get on to that in a minute. But the enemies act in a really sort of nice manner. They don't just act as you would standardly expect them to. You see that enemy? They just ate my bomb. Essentially we either have to double team that guy or get a double bomb to kill him. And since none of us actually had two bombs, me and my friend John here are basically going to have to work together and kill him. but we fucked up there, so, <laughs> sorry. Um, the enemies are actually very well animated, they're very well designed, and, you know, I, uh, I, I, again, this is Hudson at their best, in my opinion. Um, actually, yeah, let's show you a boss fight now. Actually, another thing I really like about this, this is just a small detail, it's like all the levels are linked together. Um, you often see your Bomberman actually travelling from one area to the next. It's really good, in fact you're about to see that happen now. Anyway, um, 
the bosses, yeah, they do actually benefit from having a second player fight them. They're much easier to kill with another person with you, but they're still a pretty killable single player. They're also quite challenging too. I want you to watch this little cutscene here. Now you really can't say that that was not WTF inducing. Um, yeah, anyway, um, the bosses are nice, big and colourful, they have quite a lot of animation, quite a lot of detail on them. Of course I can't show you every boss, otherwise it would literally take forever, you might as well just watch a let's play or something. But yeah, this game has two other gameplay modes that are not story driven. What does he mean? Well, I think you already know what the first one's going to be. Oh, and check out this menu music, man. It's awesome. Now, you may have noticed two things that have come to mind during this menu screen. Stage, normal and wide, and the fact that you can have 10 players playing at the same time. OMG beat that Microsoft. Anyway, um, yeah, so normal and wide. Well, normal mode is what you'd expect the perspective for Bomberman to be. Wide mode, on the other hand, which allows for you to play up to 10 players, is more like this. Now I know what you're thinking, what the fuck is going on here? Well, yeah, okay on YouTube you're probably not going to be able to see very much on the screen, but if you have a big enough standard TV, well, let's just say you can see everything pretty damn clearly. Yeah, I've got a big enough TV, it's 32 inch. But yeah, um, this mode is mental, okay, so you can only have one, the standard play area while playing in wide mode, but you can play up to nine other computer people, or human, if you've got two multi-taps and ten controllers, or a combination of both. Be my guest, choose whichever one you want. Anyway, um, yeah, I won't bore you with this now, I'll actually, uh, show you what normal mode's like. Oh, but before I do, let me just show you this character selection screen. Yes, all the characters are from famous Hudson games. I could only name you a few, of course. Boink, Cave I think that's Caveman Joe next to him, and so on. But, you know, there are also two secret characters which I've not unlocked because, well, basically my Saturn's battery died, so... Oh! Anyway, um... Yeah, enough of this shit, and let me show you what levels you can select. Yes, there are plenty of levels that you can select in normal mode. Some of them have traps, some of them are just reskinned normal battlefield types. I go for Soccer Stadium, which is a reskinned normal battlefield type. And, well, normal mode plays like any other barman, really. You can be played up to 8 player, and the actual game itself is fantastic. This is multiplayer gaming at its best. This, Death Tank Zally. Guardian Heroes of all very fantastic games, they're the cream of the crop when it comes to multiplayer Saturn games. Of course, yeah, you've got the 2D beat em ups as well, but you know, most of those aren't actually more than two player. The AI is decent on this as well, you can have a mix between human and AI as well, and blah blah blah. But there's one thing I've got to show you, and that's Master Mode. Right then, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to guess what this mode is parodying. Yes, this was when Hudson had a sense of humour and were actually quite creative. What could it be? There's something about a temple. Oh, that guy's costume looks slightly familiar to someone's, don't you think? Don't you think? 
Oh, come on. What could it be? Oh, no, those doors. What could that mean? What could that be? Oh, ah, oh, that's just the icing on the cake. And yes, if you haven't guessed, it's Dragon Ball or Dragon Ball Z by now. You're a fucking retard. Anyway, this is Master Mode. It's basically a hundred floors of score attack. Um, essentially, you clear the rooms as quick as possible, killing as many enemies as possible, and you get ranked on your score. Yes, there are also even... This mode even has its own bosses, so that's cool. Anyway, um, I'm getting dangerously close to the limit, so this is Danny from Wave 6. See you around, and for the love of God, buy this game.